Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. This is our daily card reading for September 28th, 2021. Okay, I'm already feeling something come in. It's not being articulated yet, so just hang with me here. If you did not check out the weekly, please make sure you go and watch it. It's a very important message. Make sure you're doing your own work too. And that's not just connecting in a spiritual way. It's doing things in a physical way too. Taking care of you. Adjustments are required. Look at this. It's like third quarter moon. It's like saying, you guys hit the, you, you, or, you, you hit the mark. You missed the mark is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you all, we all have missed the mark in trying to be better. This is wonderful when people are coming together, they're standing up and they're telling the truth then we can all get behind them. But unfortunately, we have so many people affected by so many different, you know, personality disorders, the way their brain is wired, whatever they have going on, whether power hungry or what have you, or they're just, they're vengeful. And so they could be making false accusations. We've definitely come into a society where anybody could say anything and you just believe them, right? Adjustments are required. We need to not, of course, we want to be careful with this because there's usually a victim involved, but um, we need to figure out how we are looking at things and why are we, you know, this is something I'm working on too. Why are we allowing ourselves to still look through the lens that we were provided a long time ago, right? So whether that's rose colored glasses or a cracked lens, like maybe you've been hurt. I, I know I definitely come from this place where I, uh, for the longest time, and I'm still healing this, uh, because of a history of major abuse, I'm very lucky to be alive on many levels. I'm very lucky to be alive, but I would see the world through this broken lens. And I wanted to believe that people were good, but I had a hard time with that sometimes because I was just feeling so like, oh my gosh, like these things, these horrible things are happening and nobody's doing anything. And I want to talk about it, but I get shut down that I'm being negative if I talk about it, right? So I understand that. So we need to start questioning that. And that might be part of the adjustment as well, looking at how we've been trained to look at things, uh, especially this uh, foolish thing of being the bigger person by let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Um, I know that's a popular saying with spirituality because we're all trying to be like love and light and high vibration and I'm, I'm all for that. But you can be in a high frequency and showing up in truth, <laughs> okay? You can show up in truth and go, hey, let's be positive and, you know, know that we can get through this, but this needs to be talked about and not seeing conversations as a time to debate or fight or whatever, okay? But coming together and saying, okay, this is my viewpoint, what's yours? Okay, so here are the viewpoints. And if anybody's ever being fair, usually you can find validation in both viewpoints. So here are the two sides of this issue. Where, where's the common ground? Where can we come through this? Because ultimately while people are arguing, the problem isn't getting solved and people are still getting harmed. Okay. So food for thought for today. <laughs> we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.